So, I have an unboxing I'm very excited about, and I really couldn't not do a video about it. In the meantime, I'm having some shrimp parm. I'm going to pair it with a Turdo Sangiovese, just phenomenal wine. We've already spoken, the sadness that has engulfed me because they have sold the winery, so at some point family that's been running the winery for 25 years will no longer be, well, they won't, they already don't own it, but at what point will they not have an impact or influence on the wines that are being produced? So who knows what the new owners will do. So it's always a crapshoot. You know, Stony Hill, a great winery out of California got bought, but they retained everybody in there to make wine. Now that's out of Napa. Stony Hill's got a very very long history longer than 25 years I'm pretty sure but either way long time for both so I'm gonna pour some of this go through this unboxing that I'm really excited about from the Pisidian let's just have a quick taste I do believe this thing this wine absolutely needs decanting It, it shows so much more depth after decanting. On previous vintages, I feel like the, this maple syrup component would come out, which was awesome. God, wine's, ex wine's exceptionally good. That's so good. All right. So... Here's a... There's a bunch of aged whites. Poseidon's Boonsfly Hill from Carnero, Snappa, 2011 Chardonnay. So, it's going to be a pretty common theme here. Some aged white. Another Poseidon mid year 2012 estate grown shard. So, not from the Boonsfly, but from their estate grown. This is Poseidon Vineyard, Carneros again, 2013. So, a little different. Small produ production, it's called The Bench. Poseidon Vineyard Bench, elevated rocky, Carneros Creek, 125 cases. Very small production. So there's three. Let's see what else is in here. It's a card. So here is 2007 Molnar Family Poseidon's Vineyard Shard. I don't know what. I think the Molners are who started Obsidian. I could be wrong. Planted in the Molnar Family in 1973. So. This could be from the Wente clone, that clone out of. Possible. I'm not sure, but 2007. So really excited about having that type of age. Another one. There was two of those. The only two left. I'm, I'm thinking. So I feel like I'm drinking some history there. And here's a red. So Obsidian also makes a Malbec, and I've never tried it. So this is their Nicholas Block Malbec 2021 Obsidian Ridge Vineyard. I don't know if there's much to talk about. Only 12 barrels produced, so that's still a lot of cases, but nonetheless, smaller production. Interested to see what Malbec does in this area of is it Sonoma or is it Red Mountain? Red Hills Lake County, yeah. So it's Red Hills Lake County, same place they make their, their Cabernet. Not more. 2011, another Poseidon Boone's Fly. Just can't have enough aged white. So here is their, looks like they rebranded. Obsidian's, rebrand, uh, relabeled. Obsidian's Cuvée Cati, proprietary red wine. They used to call this the Chief. They changed it. They now call it Cuvée Cati. I forget exactly why. Is it named after? Formerly known as the Chief, we renamed this wine on the 50th anniversary. 
and our mother Kati. Our mother Kati. So maybe they named it after a maternal member of the family. But this, the chief for this, has been great in every vintage I've had it so far. The Bordeaux blend has been phenomenal. Another 2011 Boone's Fly Chardonnay. So got a bunch of those. Feel like I'll be drinking one of those this weekend. Feel like it. I think the rest are reds here. So let's see. So they've also renamed their Cabernet to Volcanic Estate 2021. They've mm -hmm. upped the price by a few bucks, but still, this wine is what got me into Obsidian. I think when you decant this, it just shows amazingly. Let it sit in the decanter. Great wine for sub 35. Used to say great wine for 30, now it's 35. I guess I got two of them. Another one. And then one more bottle to round out the case for this allotment of, this was my fall allotment. And it looks like that's got three of them. So that's cool. I, I need a few of these to just have a cab on a weekday or or whenever I need some type of some type of red wine. So that's the that's the 12. Most excited really about those 2007 shards. Really want to see what they got. So this was the 2023 fall release letter. Here's where they talk about Cuvée Cati. I always I skipped out on there was a there was a Pinot Noir. I just skipped it. I did get the Cati. I got the Malbec, and I skipped out on the Sauv Blanc. And then I made my own 12 pack, which is typically what I'll what I'll do. I think when I when it comes to Pinot, I'm really trying to explore more of Burgundy rather than California. I don't remember. Oh, the price is fine. It's 55, pretty standard. The Cati was 46. The Malbec 41. So, the general ballpark. Well, I'm going to have my dinner. So many wines here to be enjoying over the next bunch of months. The colder weather coming in, more, more red, but I'm always drinking everything all times, all times of the year. This, these aged whites go great in the winter too, especially with specific cuisines. So, with that, have a good night.